we race. Fantastic start as predicted by Santa Van Walstein. And it was not too shabby for Davy Trevelov, who slots into second place just ahead of Arthur Carbonell in cart five for CPB Sports. Matthew Atanki looks over his right shoulder as Trevelov down the inside. Half a move on Santa Van Walstein, but that was more about protecting second place for Arthur Carbonell. Zanki P4 in the Bureau Art for Zanki Motorsport. There's Daniel Stell on the inside of Michael Papparo into the chicane. I think he's done it. Look, looked as though he did. Lost about three seconds in the process, but has made the pass stick as the Soddy Cards go 1 2 in the first race of the all new WSK international season. Carbonell goes by Trevelov for second place. Center is gone. Already almost one second, not over the Russian German in the Marinello car, but now his teammate Arthur Carbonell. Matthew Zanki here to fight this afternoon again, looks over his right shoulder. Still does likewise. Back to Michael Paparo in the Formula K card ahead of Bergmeister Bernhardt, Marcus Kayak for Ward Racing, and the Sicilian Alex Marigliano for Render Motorsport. CBB Sports, Soddy Cart, run one, two. Matteo Zanki closes in on the back of David Trefalov. We know that cart will come good later on in the race. It's a long final, 21 laps, over 25 kilometres. Here in the north of Italy, the sun is shining. It is barely above freezing, but this is white hat, hot action. On track here this afternoon, Trefalov now finds some momentum. In the Marinello cart, Mike Sebeke, Fabian Federa. They have tuned that cart to perfection. And uh, watching on from pit lane as David tries to find some momentum. This was him off the line. Senna just did edge the Russian into turn one. And he's already pulled out a fantastic lead. Although his teammate Carbonell in identical equipment is catching him. A problem seemingly for Trefilov. There is fluid. Let's hope it's just an overflow from a, potentially one of the bottles of the radiator or something as such. Let's hope that was not smoke. From Trefilov's car, he's still circulating at speed. You saw fluid burn off the cart in third place. Would have made vision very difficult for Matteo Tanki in fourth place. There's still, again, looks over his shoulder. Arthur down the inside, takes his teammate. He wants the victory, it is still Soddy Kart 1 2, but Senna is back to second. Here's an opportunity for Trefilov, but there is a question mark hanging over the 36 Marinello Kart. It's all going wrong for Senna Van Walstein. Again, the smoke is coming off the Marinello Kart. It's coming out of the radiator, it may actually be bodywork. It is too difficult for us to say as they race down the straight at near on 140 k's an hour. Trefilov is in trouble. Trefilov is still circulating, but I'd suggest that that engine is about to fry. He makes the move into the hairpin. Zunk is right there. He's being attacked by Daniel Stell. The Soddy Cuts run one, two, but it's not Senna Van Walstein. It's Arthur Carbonell, the French driver, the French cart here in the north of Italy. Trefilov with a question mark. There's the smoke. He's still circulating. He has no choice but to drive it until it breaks. It's either an engine about to detonate big time, possibly bodywork, but he has not made contact with anybody. It's coming from the left rear of the cart. He may be dropping fluid on the circuit. Making life very difficult for Matteo Zanki and Daniel Stell, who sit behind in four and five. He makes the move into the hairpin. Under brakes, nothing to lose. The Russian German in the Marinello cart up the inside, briefly into second, but he's back to third place. Senna's losing a ton of time. One second to his teammate. The Marinello cart. There's the smoke again. Matteo Zanki says, I'm out of here. He'll make an almighty send. He has no choice because they're all losing time to the two French cards, which run one, two. What a shame for David Trevelov. He's a sitting duck. The stewards are having a good look at it. The Marinello team now teamed up for 2022 with SRP Racing. There's the move, inevitable from Matteo Zanki. Still, and Papadol will follow him through as well. Still can't do it. 
Papados on the grass. Trevelov is still running. It will be an absolute miracle if he does make it to the checkered flag. He's been passed by Matteo Zanki, the Birola 37. He's now on the podium. Emilia Denner is carving through the field like a hot knife through butter. The driver from Strasbourg in France is up into seventh place. He's just under 45, 822. Emilia Denner is the fastest driver on the circuit. Arthur comes across the line. There's center in P2. Zanki is on the podium. Trefilov in the Maranello, the famous manufacturer that won the Super KF Suzuka World Cup in Japan in 2008 with the legendary David 4A. They were in contention for the victory, but it seems to be evaporating like what we suspect is the water out of his radiator. He sits in behind Matteo Zanki. There is Denner in P5. He's charging up through the field, surely. We won't have three Saudi carts on the podium this afternoon. Well, there's a very good chance because Emilian Denner is the quickest on the circuit. Fastest last time round. He's just on the fastest middle sector of anybody in the entire race. But the problem for the French driver now, who won the WSK Euro Series at this very circuit for Intrepid 12 months ago, is not only does he have two carts in front of him, but he's got one that is dropping fluid all over the circuit. Trevelov back on the podium. He will drive it until it breaks. Oh, surely he can't make it to the podium with a radiator that must be empty of water. Carbonell, Centerman Wallstein, Zanki Trevelov, fastest lap again for a million ten of 45, 711. Trevelov, can you believe he's on the podium? The Saudi Cuts are running away with his, it is still Arthur in P1. There's Senna from Amsterdam, the 18-year-old who dominated the WSK Champions Cup up until this point. The reigning champion, Victor Gustafsson. He won the title at Adria 12 months ago here at the circuit. He'll be with us next week for the first round of the Supermaster Series. He's watching on from pit lane, wearing a CRG jacket. We can't wait to see Victor back on track. That's in seven days' time. The first round of the WSK Supermaster Series. The first two rounds for 2022 held here at Lenato. Then we go to La Concomura Lecce, World Circuit. And then on the 13th of March at Circuito Internacional in Napoli for the fourth round of the 2022 WSK Supermaster Series. The prestigious championship which goes back to 2010. And this title, it is starting to write its own chapter in history, going back to La Concre in 2014. Dan Hanley winning the first title for RGP. There's Alex Gladstein in the back of the track. He has retired. Paolo De Conto won in 2016. Stan Pex a year later in the rain for CRG. Daniel Vassilet in the modern of Howard DR Cut 2018. And Victor, who won 12 months ago at Adria for the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc team. CBB Sport, the Sonny Kart Sigma, all new colours. They run one, two, and also fourth now. There's Denner on the back of Trefalov. A trio of French carts, almost inev inevitably. There's the order at the bottom of your screen. Carbonell, Van Wolstein, Trefalov is still driving the wheels. Off a tortured Marinello car, Denna tries to make the move. Remember, a million started out of Group 12. He has car through the field. At the moment, he's one step off the podium. Came together with his teammate, Senator Van Wallstein, in the pre-final. That's why he started further back on the, on the grid. He actually fell back to 20th this morning. Recovered to 12th. Now he's in fourth. The sitting duck, which is the Russian, German, Duffy Trefilov. Is one place in front of him. The smoke has stopped as a million goes by. And that tells you that the radiator is virtually empty. Soddy cart. One, two, three. They dominate the podium. As we pass half race distance, Senna closes in on his teammate. The French team in force at the WSK Champions Cup. The all new Soddy cart Sigma. They are setting the market this weekend for the 2022 season. There's Denner in P3. As we say, nine of the Soddy carts on the grid out of 27, exactly one third of the field, have elected to join the French manufacturer. 
and they are about to get a huge reward with the first international title of an all-new season. Trefilov, Fenzov, Zanki, then it's still Michael Papadou, P7 ahead of Kayak, the Sicilian Alex Magnano, and Thomas Emberg. Yes, you bet. Another Sony card in position 10. Senna on the back of Arthur. A million in P3, he's one second behind his teammates. Seven and a half laps remaining as the temperature gets up to six degrees Celsius. The sun is shining on a glorious winter's afternoon here at South Garda Karting as Senna makes the move into the hairpin. Right, the ripple strip. That was an aggressive, strong, forceful pass. And order is restored as far as the Dutchman goes. He's back in P1. Senna van Walstein, pole position in qualifying with a 45-022. That was 48 hours ago in Friday. An all-time track record. As we said in our introduction, even the other drivers in KZ2 begrudgingly will concede that, yeah, the kid from Amsterdam is quick. Runs a little bit wide that time. Arthur Carbonell in second place. Look at the Soddy Kart team. One, two, and three. The famous French manufacturer from west of Le Mans. Depending on who you speak to, the biggest kart manufacturer in the world. Certainly one of the most professional. Look at that. All new colours for Soddy Kart. And their first, second, third, they're looking to lock out the podium here this afternoon of the WSK Champions Cup. They've done immense work. They're at the official test, the WSK Collective Test at Adria seven days ago, and that work has paid off. They're running first, second, third from the Netherlands, from France. Their three drivers, Van Walstein, Carbonell, and Emilien Tanner. Emilien Tanner, former International Super Cup champion, as we told you, he won the Euro Series for WSK. In Intrepid 12 months ago, actually spent a year racing in the Toyota Racing Series down in New Zealand before the world closed in Formula 3 a couple of seasons ago. Back is the French driver with the French team. He's closed in on the back of Carbonell. What a sight this is. So we say Soddy Kart, who made one of the most revolutionary, revolutionary go karts of all time, the Soddy Kart Futura. As Emilia down the inside, he's now in second from 12th on the grid. Soddy Kart, who made that Futura, they won the 1993 Formula A World Championship with David Terrian at Laval. If you ever do see one of those Soddy Kart Futuras come up for sale somewhere, let me know. They are as rare as, well, pick your own cliche. The all new card goes all right too. Look at it first, second, and third for the Sigma. Incredibly, Trefilov is still holding on to fourth place. He's ahead of Matteo Zaki. That radiator must be bone dry. There was smoke, there was fluid pouring out the left side of it. Credit to the SRP racing team. Despite him having an obvious problem, he's still going, or do I speak too soon? Trefilov, you just saw. No, he's still going, just. He ran a little bit wide. They're still in the background. There's Michael Papado ahead of the Estonian. Marcus Kayak for Ward Racing in the Tony Kart. Alex Mariano. Another. Marinello in the form of the Ukrainian. The semi-professional ski racer from Kiev. Ivan Klevenko rounds out the top 10 just behind Alex Mariano for Render Motorsport, who finished 2021 with a victory at the nearby Francia Corta circuit in the Winter Challenge in KZ2. He's been in superb form all week here. He'll certainly be a contender next weekend for the first round of the WSK Supermaster Series. He's ahead of Klimenko, Noshoff, Thomas Inberg, and Speck in the TV cart. This has been a gutsy drive from Trefilov at the moment. It looks as though he will miss the podium, but he's still in the race somehow. That's a mystery. That's a credit to the SRP team who have managed to build a quick cart one with a problem, but it's still going. Zanki frustrated in P5 center. He's got the top spot. He's got two laps to go. It would be a deserving victory if he can hold on for another 2.4 kilometers. The previous winners of the WSK Champions Cup, as we say, Victor Gustafsson last year, Daniel Vassilier, Stan Pex, Paolo de Gonto, 
and Ben Henley back at La Conca in 2014. Down the hill for the penultimate time. He's got this under control. There is Marcus Kayak ahead of Alex Mariano. Ivan Klimenko, the Ukrainian, just ahead of Igor Nosov, the Russian in the Formula K car. Last lap this time round. Accelerates, gets the last lap board. Dit is the last terrain there for the pilot van der Nederlands in the first position. C'est le dernier tour pour le pilot français dans le deuxième place. The last lap for the Dutch driver in the top spot. And for the French drivers in second and third. I don't speak Russian, so I won't try and say it's the final lap for Dummy Trevelov in fourth place. That's been an almighty gutsy drive. He'll come up short, but deserves some credit if he could bring it to the chicken flag in three quarters time. Senna van Wolstein has dominated all weekend here at Lanato. Goes into the hairpin for the final time, accelerates. That checkered flag is about to wave. Senna van Wolstein leads home a soddy cart. One, two, and three in the WSK Champions Cup. A brilliant victory for the Dutch driver for the French team. Soddy cart lock out the podium in an almighty dominant performance here at the center of the karting universe, Southgarder Karting Lonato.